Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I recently came across a photo of Trisha Paytas wearing a My Chemical Romance shirt and I was shocked she was with Blair White who I've been watching a lot recently and I love to death by the way. Trisha Paytas just doesn't come across as the type of person that likes My Chemical Romance. My first thoughts were that she was doing it just for views and it was just one of her stunts because she is very trolly. She's come out as being trans, she's come out as being a chicken nugget, she's done tons of breakdown kitchen floor videos, she's done everything she can to get views and clicks on YouTube and to troll people and so you can hardly take anything that she says seriously and it's very hard to differentiate between when she's being real with you and when she's not. However, I didn't want to judge immediately, so I came across a video. I am subscribed to Trisha Paytas, I do think she's entertaining to some degree. I don't agree with everything that she's done, but I respect her as a businesswoman. I think she's very smart. She's clearly doing well for herself. However, she is also very problematic. And I saw that it came up <laughs> a My Chemical Romance video. Apparently this isn't the first one she's done, which surprises me. I just wanted to react to it, watch it, and see what I think. I have been a huge My Chemical Romance fan since I was 11 years old. I'm now 25. They helped me through a lot. I'm going to see them soon in concert. I was just watching a video where she was talking about all the backlash that she's been getting for being a fan of them and how Killjoys have been really nasty to her and uninclusive and have been telling her she can't be a fan of the band, telling her to delete stuff, telling her she's disrespectful to Gerard Way. I don't believe she is being disrespectful. Anyone can be a fan of anything. Just because she puts off a vibe of being a girly girl that is completely not emo or anything at all doesn't mean that she hasn't had a past and is related to them. My style's definitely changed a lot. I'm not particularly as emo as I used to dress. I'm still a bit emo but I've gone through phases of being girly and stuff and I like Justin Bieber and I like Ariana Grande and my music taste has definitely varied since MTR went on a break but that is not to define whether or not we can actually like a band. It's called MCR Tribute Band I'm Not Okay I Promise Live. It's on Trisha Paytas's YouTube channel Blonde Sun Doll 4MJ. <laughs> Okay, so she's wearing a red wig and she's trying to look like Gerard in the Danger Days era. So far, I'm not seeing any offensiveness. I'm not offended. As I know she can sing, so we'll see. I'm ready for performance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, like, I guess we're going, right? Yeah, we're going. It's happening. Shut up. honesty, that's all you have to say. Okay, she's already got a lyric wrong, so that's great. <laughs> I don't know if she really is a fan or not, I'm gonna have to judge based on this. It does seem convenient to me that she only seems to be talking about NCR since they've announced they returned, or at least as far as I'm aware. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, <laughs> they're not great singers, I'll give you that. I'm Not Okay is a great song, so I'm gonna sing along anyway. I know she can sing, but I don't, I don't know, she's putting on this voice. I can see why this is irritating to MCR fans, I can see why, because if she is just doing this to get views and to make money, then it is wrong in a way, but it's not like the worst, most problematic thing she could ever do, but I understand why it's wrong, because there are genuine people who have had their lives saved by this band, me included, and people who actually fully support this band and have wanted them back for ages. He's back. Hello? Oh, you look different! Are you filming? Yeah. Are you finished? No. I thought we were going out. Yeah. Dave! <laughs> Jerry! I'm here, let me see. I didn't know you were going that short. I didn't plan on it, but it looks nice. Aww. Looks cute. How are you doing? Good. Oh! <laughs> it's Dave and Jerry. <laughs> okay, sorry, my boyfriend just came in and completely interrupted me. He just went to have a haircut. Yeah, what was I saying? I understand why it's problematic, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I think that's what I was saying. I'm not sure. <laughs> the people were just like, what is going on here?
she doesn't seem to know the lyrics very well so I'm assuming she's not actually a fan and she's doing it for views but then I don't want to jump to conclusions she just seems to not really know it that well God, that one guy just entertaining it, he looks so dead inside. She got the lyrics wrong again, it's killing me. <laughs> the guitarist isn't even playing in tune to the song, so I feel like... I can't judge based on one video, but she seems to only know one song. Not gonna lie, if I saw it in the street, I'd probably join in just for the lols. Like, <laughs> I think it's good in a way because even if she is just doing it for views, she could potentially bring some people in that somehow don't know who My Chemical Romance are and bring them a new audience. Like, people might check them out as a band because they've seen her videos. I don't agree with people being nasty to her about it because you are free to like whatever music you want to like and I disagree with the whole, you know, fandom mentality of hating on certain fans for certain things. For instance, hating on a fan because they've only liked MCR since Danger Days or they've only just discovered them or whatever or they don't fit into the emo box and they don't look like an MCR fan. I don't agree with that. So in a way I kind of take her side, if she is actually genuinely a fan of them and they actually got her through stuff then I don't think she deserves any kind of hatred and I think people need to lay off, she wants to feel accepted and for me the MCR fandom is the one place I've felt accepted my whole life and the one place I finally felt like I felt like I fit in and so if she enters a fandom that's supposed to be accepting and loving and usually is and then we're just like get out we don't want you here then she, she's... do you know what I mean? It's toxic and it's not nice and she's free to like MCR as much as she likes. I know she's got tickets to go see them multiple times and would she really spend money on tickets if she didn't actually like them? She does kind of rock the red wig and I do find it kind of funny. She is humorous and there is comedy in it so I get it. I don't know, I wish she'd played more songs than just I'm Not Okay because this makes her look like she doesn't know any of her MCR songs and maybe she does, it's just they haven't prepared any of her songs. Two springs, always, I know, you'll be at my show, watching, waiting, commiserating. I don't know, I don't think she's posing, I think she's just being a comedic, doing what she does best, trolling, but also she might genuinely be a fan, maybe she's not a huge fan. I also disagree with the fan mentality of you have to know every single song, every single lyric, you have to be a fan of every album they've done. That's not true either. Even though I am personally, I would never look down on someone just because they don't like everything from someone's dis... Why do I have a problem with this word? Discography? Discography? I can't speak and I don't know this word and I really struggle with it, I don't know why. Turn the lights off, carry me home, if you have to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough of that video. Um, <laughs> it does seem like a joke to me because of the way she's singing. I know she can genuinely sing, so I think it's just meant to be light-hearted. Maybe she wanted a response as well because that will get her views and it's working because she's clearly getting attention from the fandom. Apparently she's been posting pictures of Gerard on Twitter, posting her appreciation for him 
and she got hate for posting old photos of him during danger days because he was struggling with his weight and his body image and stuff and so she posted a recent photo of him in 2020-2019 and she got hate for doing that because she was being told she was fat shaming him but she actually wasn't she was just like it just seems to me like they're attacking her for no reason so I will back her up in this case maybe I don't know as much as I should on this situation but to me it just seems like people are attacking her for no reason just leave her alone don't give her attention if you don't want to give her attention and then maybe she'll stop if she's a genuine fan it breaks my heart that people are treating her that way and I think outrage cons concert <laughs> culture is just such a big thing and everybody wants to cancel everybody all the time and I think she's just she's just light-heartedly making videos about them showing her appreciation as a fan and she might not be the typical MCR fan but I don't particularly always look like the typical MCR fan you know before I started dating my boyfriend properly he only knew that I was into Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, these kind of songs I used to play them in the cash office with him and he thought I had shit music taste and then when we actually started talking we realised we had more in common music taste wise and he was surprised because he didn't think I was into that kind of thing so you can't ever know from looking at someone what kind of music they're into. I think anyone that likes MCR is a good person in my eyes, has decent music taste and it doesn't matter if she also likes Britney Spears or whoever else she likes doesn't diminish the fact that she also likes MCR because I like pop music and I like alternative now and I feel like no matter what genre of music if you enjoy it you enjoy it and music speaks to you in different ways and I think you can like all kinds you don't have to just fit into one box and only listen to alternative music or only listen to pop I think that's dumb let's see if she's got another one on here I think she does okay so she has a My Chemical Romance Helena Trisha Paytas remake music video. This will be interesting. I didn't know this was a thing. This was two weeks ago she posted this, so let's just have a look. It looks like she's cosplaying as Gerard. Okay. <laughs> This is weird immediately. It's so weird. I understand why people are thrown off by it because it's it's just this is not usually the kind of thing she uploads and it's not the type of music she produces, so it's very strange. <laughs> I think she's actually using clips of herself in the coffin from another video she did. I'm sure she is. She did a music video with Jason. The fact that I know this is so sad but where she died and I'm sure she's using clips and she's just mashed it up to make a Helena video. <laughs> Her holding a remote as a microphone and singing Helena is so me in my teenage years. I just can't take the remote control seriously, that's so hilarious. That's literally what I used to do in my bedroom all the time. I'd pretend I was on stage singing MCR songs. That just... that's so funny. I do like her nails, they're so cool. I would totally get my nails done like that. People also said that she over-sexualised a song that is about Gerard's grandmother because of the way she's dressed in the coffin but from what I can see here she's used clips from another video so that was never her intent and I don't believe that was her intent at all. I think people literally are just acting snowflakey and just being offended over anything. I think when I was younger I might have been offended by Trisha Paytas doing this because I would have been like oh why is she doing that she's not an MCR fan she's not an emo, blah blah blah, how dare she, she's taking the piss. I can understand where the outrage comes from, but I think as I've grown older I'm more accepting of things and I'm willing to laugh at things and just not take things so seriously and be outraged and offended at literally anything. Yeah, 
but I don't know, you can't really take Trisha Paytas seriously because she does troll a lot and you don't really know what's the truth and what's not. But from the video she did, which I'm not going to react to right now because the video will be too long, but where she was talking about the hatred she's getting and how she's genuinely a fan of them, I do believe her and I just want to give her the benefit of the doubt on this situation. I think if you're really MCR fans, you wouldn't put someone down for supporting them in whatever way, no matter how long she's been a fan, if she's been a fan five minutes or five years or ten years. Everyone should be equally welcomed into the Killjoy fandom and I feel sad that she's getting that kind of hatred. People are really just nitpicking at things at this point and she had a comment like if Gerard and the band saw this they'd be disgraced and they wouldn't come back. I think that's ridiculous, that's so, so stupid. I think they'd probably find it funny. Uh, I don't think they'd be offended at all and <laughs> I, I just think that's ridiculous, I really do. And I've seen much creepier things about MCR like fan fictions and stuff like that and Ferrard was a huge thing which I'm not innocent in when I was younger that was definitely something I was into which now I see why it's problematic but like there have been worse things fandoms have done. Her being in the MCR fandom doesn't offend me or anything, I welcome her if she's genuinely an MCR fan. I'm happy to hear that because I do like Trisha Paytas, hence why I'm sub to her, but I, I also think she is offensive, but I think that she's doing it to make money as a businesswoman and, you know, I don't think she's the worst person in the world. That's it for this video, let me know what you think down below about Trisha liking MCR. I can't wait to see her podcast that she did with Blair White, that should be interesting. Like, comment and subscribe. I can't speak. Like, comment and subscribe. I make new videos every single week or at least I try to and I will see you in my next one. Peace!